Hello friends, welcome to my next research video. You are with me, Professor Raju Shekharan. See, uh, uh, you have identified the research gap. What will I do next? See, after thorough reading, you have identified the research gap. What will be the next step? So, after identifying the research gap, the first step after identifying the research gap is fixing your research objectives. How to fix research objectives? There is a video in my channel. Just go to the link and check that video how to write objectives. So, first thing, you will identify exact research objectives, you will frame research questions, then you will decide about methodology, then you will plan about, in case if it is experimental research, you will plan about experiment. Then, once you fix the objective, then you will further explore. See, so far you have read uh, various research papers on your area and finally you identified this particular topic you are going to do. Now, again further, you will read more papers on exact your objective, whatever the objective you have fixed on uh, right now. You will try to explore more, you will try to deepen your knowledge. This is more specific reading and you will read more uh, specific books on that particular topic, maybe the thesis on that particular topic. Previously, you were reading in a broad area. Now, you will be very, very to the point, to the particular thing, you will read it and you will get a, what you will get, you will try to get a better understanding. This is number one. Number two, you will identify certain mechan, that's what methodology, you assume that you are going to apply certain theories in your research. You will identify what are the parameters of the theory. See, for instance, you are going to study about psychological aspect of a particular work. In case, for instance, in English literature, you want to study the psychological aspect of a particular novel. Then, you will select the characters. You will apply psychoanalytic theory. For example, if you apply Freudian theory, you will have a three concept called id, ego and superego. So, you will identify how this id, ego, superego worked in a particular uh, uh, novel which you have selected. You will identify the instances which reflect uh, the id and ego and superego. So, similarly, whatever the theory you take, in case you work in the sociology, you will identify the sociological uh, aspect which you work in the particular field. So, identifying the theory, then understanding the components of theory. Theory is not a one word, it is a one parameter. There may be different parameters. First, you will try to understand all the parameters by reading that theory, uh, about that theory, you will read a lot of papers, you will get better, deeper understanding about the theory, then you will become familiarized about who are all the famous authors and the important experts in the particular theory, you read all those important books, you read all the important papers, research papers on the particular theory, you will get a better clarity. Now, you will take the theory, you will not be able to apply the what you call the entire theory in your research work. Probably some of the components will be able to apply. Then you will identify what are the components you are going to apply. You will shortlist it. Then you will try to apply those theory, what you call theoretical framework in your uh, what you call that, that particular stand in your research work. Then you will further continue the research. So now you will have the picture. See, you you plan to study. You will have the theory, but you theory is a very big again. So, now you have what you call shortlisted certain component, you will try to apply those components in the present study, then you will try to interpret your uh, study in that, in that particular lens. So, after identifying the theory, after understanding the component, after fixing it to your work, then you have to do lot of interpretation. After identifying the theory, you need to apply, simply you can't say that these five components can be identified in this particular thing, so let me do this. This will be nothing will be there then. So, you will identify that component, you will interpret, there will be a lot of interpretation will be happening, you will be interpreted in a different way, you will try to give a new perspective, you will try to bring a kind of a new avenues through your applications, that is what next you will do it. The, after that, in case you do an experimental research, you will design your experiment, you will identify all the parameters you uh, require to design the experiment, you will design Finally, you will carry out that experiment. After that six months, then you will start to do these things in a different phases. You will start to carry out the experiment. So, how to identify the theory, which theory I need to apply, that and all, 
you will be able to identify definitely once you uh, completed your research literature review once you find the research gap once you fix the topic definitely you will be able to identify the theory also then as of now you will we have a initial knowledge after fixing the topic uh, objectives then you will go further deeper you will try to get a deep depth knowledge about the theory then for that you will read more theoretical that paper research papers on the particular theory maybe some magnum opus that is important books on that particular theory you will become completely well versed in that particular theory then you know how to apply those theories in your research then you will carry out the research this is what you will do after identifying the research the gap but all these things will take a lot of time probably first six month you have identified research gap second six month you are identifying the uh, objective then methodology and theory then you will explore the theory it may take another six months in that way it will be it keeps uh, it, it keeps going but this is what you will do after identifying the research gap i hope this video will be really useful if you find it useful share it to your friends let them get benefited i'll catch you in the next video bye bye